we want to live in a different world. Hello everyone and welcome back to Warno's Quick Tutorial. This time we're going to explore the options you get in the game and uh, we're, we'll do the gameplay and the interface as the rest I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out for yourself. Um, so there you go. So rules of engagement. This means that it's the, well like it says here, it's the default order the unit will do when right clicking on the map. So you right click somewhere, it's either going to go straight forward, it's going to move. Um, if someone attacks them, they'll keep moving and this is a big disadvantage for you. Or you could use the hunt. Hunt means that if someone engage them, they'll stop they'll, and they'll start shooting. So um, I'm not sure if it's the same as in Steel Division 2, but when units stopped in uh, that previous game, they will get an entra entrenchment bonus. And I, su I suspect it's the same here. So I would recommend to put it on hunt. Then rules of engagement for the motorized pathfind. Yes, no. So that basically means that with your tanks, um, do you want the, the AI to find a path for you? Or do you want them to go straight forward to the objective, meaning uh, in a straight line? So if you do want them to go in a straight line, you say no. If you want the AI to find a path for you, you say yes. I would recommend, um, I would actually recommend no for the motorized. That's all your vehicles and tanks. So I would recommend no for that. And on foot means your, your soldiers, those who walk. And I would recommend yes for that as the soldiers will walk from cover to cover rather than straight in the middle of the road uh, to go where you want. This could be tricky though depending on how you like to play your games. Uh, don't forget that if you do say no to that you can always shift click to uh, pile the orders in and you can choose your own path by that way. It's a lot of micro though. Rules of engagement, idle. So when there's a troop that does nothing, what are they going to do basically? Nothing or auto cover or are they going to hold the area? So old is a smart order from the game. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but auto cover, it could be good for infantry as uh, when you unload infantry, sometimes they don't go directly into the house even if you told them to. Well, that way they'll directly go into it. Um, I personally choose nothing. Um, as I prefer sometimes I want to hide infantry just outside the houses or stuff like that. And so if you want to put an infantry outside of a house just beside it, then they'll keep going into that house. So I personally recommend nothing, but that's for my own gameplay uh, type. Rules of engagement, out of, out of range reaction. Uh, this one's a new one, but it defines the automatic behavior when a unit is fired upon from beyond its own rep weapons range. Well, there you go. It's self-explanatory. That means, will your troop stay there? Uh, I don't know the difference between passive and defensive. To me, it seems like it would be the same thing. Uh, probably they stay there and do nothing. Aggressive would, be, would mean that they engage the target. Um, so this is really up to you. Uh, do you want your units to move away from their position to engage someone that's shooting at them from a longer range? Or do you not want that? I'm going to put with... Uh, I'm going to put at defensive. I don't want my units to start thinking for themselves. Uh, rules of engagement, unarmed vehicle. So do you want to shoot that transport vehicle at Lodgy or things like that? Uh, if so, then do fire at will. And keep in mind that you might not want to destroy supply trucks, but this means if an infantry is in a truck and it goes past you to unload somewhere, then your own troops will not shoot at it. So... I'm going to choose fire at will personally. Rules of engagement, ground missiles, same thing here. Will do will they will they shoot at transport or not? No transport will probably be a good choice here, but then again, up to you. Uh, rules of engagement, um Rules of engagement here, uh, auto resell, that means that your jeep your trucks that have no value whatsoever other than transporting units to the front line uh, will they as soon as you unload them will they go back and sell themselves for more money i would recommend yes sticky selection for strategic camping and eh, there is no camping right now 
Uh, to magic, uh, sticky selection. Well, that's uh, don't even know what that. What does it do? Let's activate, deactivate the sticky. I don't know. Just keep it too sticky. <laughs> um, when in doubt, do nothing. All right. So automatic Winchester out of ammo evacuation. This means your airplane will evac as soon as they're out of ammo. Usually. For fighter bombers, example, that would be they drop their bombs. So even though they do have machine guns, they won't stick around. Um, in Steel Division, I would highly recommend you do not do that. In this game, though, uh, I don't know. It's not like you're going to use your fighter bomber to strafe or uh, fight other fighter planes. You know, they're jet planes. So... Probably I would recommend yes, but take that with a grain of salt. Mousetrap, what is that? Prevents the mouse from leaving the game window. A classic, I would say yes to that. Mouse border scroll. The camera will scroll when the cursor is at the edge of the screen. I would recommend with no, personally, because let's say you want to take a unit that's on this side and then the mouse, but you know, that's up to you. Pad camera, language, auto save, whatever, right? Icon type, well this is either you want a game type uh, icons or you want the real real world uh, designation for units. Either way, doesn't matter. Show armor value, I would go with yes. That means uh, when you put your mouse on a, a unit or either just in the unit description, it will give their armor values. Uh, like uh, if they have uh, five armor in the front, it'll, it'll say five and things like that. Label aggregation. What is that? This means the the icon on the game. When you zoom out, they'll they'll have a lot of icons on the game. So do you want to aggregate them but not merge? You want to aggregate and merge same units. So that means aggregate and merge will mean that if you got ten units of the same type, when you zoom out, it'll just be one icon and it'll say ten on the number. So that's uh, that's up to you again. Um, HUD type, HUD, HUD size, label size is pretty straightforward. Display front line for uh, this has always been a confusing one. Allow you to set on which side to display the map control overlay. I would go for the opponent because you want to see uh, as much as possible on your own side. But either way, um, yeah, the rest is pretty basic. So uh, this was it. I hope it helps you. And uh, if it doesn't, then that's too bad. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I think next, there isn't a lot of tutor uh, tutorial to do in here. So I think next we're finally going to get into that gameplay. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.